Hello there kitties, this is Kari, the vacuum tube witch, and today I've got something that looks like a vinyl record, but, but I don't really know which one exactly it is, so we're gonna have a little bit unboxing video. Got it here. Cut it here. And cut it here. Open it. And what do we have here? The moment of surprise because I genuinely don't know what it is. And this is Hunky Dory by David Bowie. The original from RCI. <coughs> I guess it's been used and played for a number of times. But uh, that's the thing I like about the vintage records. That they have that certain thing named usage, and that's a portmanteau of beauty and usage, and uh, and also the sound engineering back then was uh, a lot different. Everything was uh, going on analog uh, equipment. It's uh, it's pretty scratched here. But I think that I will give it a listen. So back then uh, everything was uh, running full analog, no digital. And, uh, and that's uh, also another thing before the so-called loudness wars uh, became a thing. The sound engineers just made those records sound good and uh, they knew that, uh, that those uh, records would be played on hi-fi equipment so they uh, were aiming for making it sound good on hi-fi equipment and now, now uh, they're trying to make uh, every track, every CD, every file sound uh, decent on on any equipment and that means that it will sound good on nothing and uh, unfortunately um, those remastered uh, albums they don't really sound that uh, that great uh, compared to the old thing especially if you play especially if you play it on on some good equipment what I have here is uh, the Tonsil ZG40C loudspeakers and the Navis uh, now, now it would be no, it would be Caritac uh, but then it was Navis uh, WS1 stereo power amplifier and uh, the Caritac uh, Pre 834 that I made with uh, with the EIR 834P design from uh, Tim de Peravicini that uh, I I make a lot of tube equipment and uh, that's a lot of fun for me and I'm gonna do it professionally. Like this is an uh, amplifier that I'm rebuilding for a customer. But I'll show it to you later. Actually it turns out that it can run the full uh, frequency range so without uh, the need for the global feedback. 
those uh, output transformers they look quite nicely and uh, I think that uh, I'm gonna test this amplifier on a brand new set of uh, 606 vacuum tubes and and also on EL34s decide uh, what is better and and then I'm gonna listen to it and uh, finish the mechanical uh, assembly and take it back to the customer hoping that the thing sounds great hopefully okay so now I'm just uh, signing off and and I'm gonna go and give the old David uh, a spin. That's some new, that's some nice artwork here. And the uh, record was recorded in 1971. Axie Victor. Mm -hmm. LSR 4628, I guess. Pity that it's, uh, the envelope is in a pretty bad shape. Oh, and there's also an insert here with the lyrics. Normally you could find the lyrics on on the protective cover like this but uh, here it's separate okay so i'm signing off now i'm gonna listen to that album and see you soon i'm gonna tell you how it sounded bye